today I'm going to show you how to make a duct tape flower. The materials you're going to need are a straw. It doesn't really matter what color since it's going to be covered with duct tape. You're going to need a pair of scissors. Safety scissors won't work too well. Uh, some bendable craft wire or a pipe cleaner. And a few different colors of duct tape. I'm going to be using three. I'm going to be using green, orange, and yellow. Alright, this should be what your finished product will look like. Five petals, a stem, a leaf, and this inside. Alright, so what you're going to do is, you can, if it's a bendy straw, you can just cut the bend off unless you want it on there, which might not be such a good idea. But you can leave it on there if you want to. But what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of duct tape, about as long as your straw, maybe a little bit longer. I'm just going to mesh this up to see how long I need to whip it. And you're just going to roll your straw. So you're just going to roll it down. Kind of easy, but just make sure there are no creases in it. And if you have excess at the end, you can just cut it off. Unless you want to keep it on. I don't know. Anyways, you're going to take the color of your center and you're going to wrap it around the middle right here. Just so it won't look so weird and you won't have a green little splotch in the middle of all your petals. Oh wow, that is all good. I'm just going to take a small piece of duct tape, the color of what you're going to use for the center petals, and you're just going to put it like that. And use orange. This is a very small piece of duct tape, but that's all you need. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to make a petal. To make a petal, you're just going to take a piece of duct tape, about an inch, two inches long, and you're going to fold the corners down to the center to where you have a bit of sticky stuff. Then you do the same on the other side and it's okay if they don't match up because it's going to be covered anyways. What you're going to do is the color, the side where you have the colored part of your straw or your stem, whatever you want to call it now, you just place the petal around it. So where it looks like a rosebud of some sort. I already made like nine petals, so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap those. See how they're kind of like facing away from each other? I don't know if you can see that. That's kind of what you want it to look like if you want your flower to look like a real flower. Oh, and my duct tape bow from my bow video. You might want to check that out. I'll post the link. And just going to continue wrapping petals. It's going to take a while. And your flower is going to get kind of fat. This is about after seven petals. And you're just going to keep wrapping until you're at the thickness of the flower you want it to be. And when you're done, it should look something like this, depending on how thick your flower was. And then I'm going to demonstrate how to make a petal. To make a petal, I'll rip a piece about three inches long, four inches, however long you want it to be. Then you're going to take your pipe cleaner and you're going to cut a piece about an inch long and you're just going to stick it so there's a bit of sticky stuff and you're just going to fold this over to where it looks similar to this. Sticky part at the bottom, pipe cleaner in the middle, and the actual petal part up here. The surface, I should call it. Then you're just going to cut it into a petal shape. It's okay if it's not perfect. I mean, but you kind of want to make your petals 
all similar, kind of symmetrical, because it fits on your flower, and they all are like different shapes and sizes, like this one I made. This was the first one I made. It looks awful. I'm going to demonstrate one more time how to make this. Three inch piece of duct tape. Pipe cleaner. Fold over. Wow, that was too big of a piece of duct tape. And then cut into a paddle shape. Simple steps. Hard to grasp. Once you have your petals cut out, you can start placing them on the flower. Right, to put them on the flower, what you're going to do is you're going to take your flower, and in the sticky part, you're just going to put it at the bottom of your flower. You might want to bring it up a little bit higher so you actually can have your petals bent over. That's what the pipe cleaner or the wire is for. And then you're going to do the same with your rest of your um, petals. Same height, and you're just going to keep alternating where they go until you have how many petals you want and where you want them placed correctly. And then you're pretty much done. I have one more petal to do, and then I'll show you my almost finished product. If you want to add a leaf, you can do that. Those are fairly simple. It's just like making a petal. Right. And after you have all your petals at it, it should look similar to this. I kind of messed up on doing the petals. But it should look similar to this. Alright. And then, if you want to make a leaf, those are fairly easy, like I just said. Take a two-inch piece of duct tape rip it, and just fold it over so there's a tad bit of sticky stuff. So it looks like this. Then you're going to cut that into a leaf sort of shape. Fairly simple. It's just like the petals. And then you can make a few slits at the side to make it where it like bends over to make it look authentic. Obviously these aren't going to smell like roses. They are going to smell awful. I mean, some of mine, I spray perfume on them, or like Germex and stuff, to make them smell okay, because they will make your room stink. They will. Because duct tape is just, it smells awful. Anyways, here's my leaf. Bottom. Can't really see it because it's small. But that's pretty much your finished product. You can add more leaves on it, you can make a stem, you can even make some thorns if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that because this doesn't look like a rose. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Check out my How to Make a Duct Tape Bow video. Link down there. Have a good day.